what does goat cheese taste like? So much more than just goaty. <laughs> if you've never tasted cheese made with goat's milk before, you're in for quite the treat. But what does goat cheese taste like? Well, it depends. Keep on watching to learn why. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the little bell for notifications. What does goat cheese taste like? So, there is no short answer to this question because it would be like asking, what does cow's milk cheese taste like? Or what does red wine taste like? The answer is, it depends. There are an incredible range of cheeses that can be made with goat's milk. And to be honest, they all taste quite different. Depending on the breed of goat, the geographical location, the culture used, and the maturation method, the type of goat cheese you end up with will have completely different characteristics. Let me break it down for you. Is there such thing as a goatee taste? Before we explore the many different types of goat's milk cheeses, let's take a little nerdy detour. On a molecular level, goat's milk is actually quite a bit different to cow's milk. More specifically, the fatty acid content varies quite significantly. Those fatty acids. Some of the fatty acids that are present in goat's milk include 4-ethyl-octanoic acid, 4-methyl-octanoic acid, caproic acid, and caprylic acid. Fun fact about the last two. Their names are derived from the Latin word for goat, capra. As a matter of fact, the fatty acid profile is the main reason behind that characteristic tangy and animalic aroma and the flavor that most goat cheeses exhibit. Next, let's have a look at the different types of goat's milk cheeses. The young kid. <laughs> See what I did there? Chèvre is a French word that translates to both female goat and cheese that is made using goat's milk. Fresh chèvre is a very popular unripened soft cheese in both France and around the world. It is typically pristine white and rindless and has a very spreadable texture. Moreover, this type of cheese is usually consumed within days of production and exhibits qualities that are the most closely related to the milk it is made with. So if you are looking for that goatee tang, this is the best cheese to try. Watch out also for the lactic and citric notes. Lactic and citric mean milky and zesty, respectively the adolescent with the wrinkly rind. There are a number of spectacular cheeses that fall under this category. Looking at France alone, you will find saint maur de Touraine, which is a log-shaped cheese. Valence is a cheese shaped like a pyramid. And Roquemadour comes in a round. Those three examples are all projected by an AOP stamp and are matured for a minimum of six to 10 days. During this time, the cheese develops a wrinkly natural rind formed by a mold called Geotrichum candidum. At this age, the flavor and aroma both start to become more complex. While the goatee tang and citric qualities are still present, some savory and nutty notes start to appear. Of course, the flavor will vary depending on the cheese. For example, Valence tends to be a little nutty and floral, while saint maur de Touhan is savory and zesty. The young adult. Around two to three weeks of maturation, you will find a very different range of French goat's milk cheeses. This includes the spectacular Montez du Feuille that is wrapped in a chestnut leaf and Chevrotin that is protected by an AOP stamp. Both examples are matured for a minimum of three weeks. More depth of flavor. Goat's milk cheeses that have been matured for more than three weeks tend to have a slightly firmer texture. Moreover, their flavor really starts to develop at this age. Gone are the goaty citric notes from their childhood and adolescence. Whilst your palate will still detect lactic and savory notes, a subtle sweetness starts to appear. Furthermore, Montez is matured at almost 100% humidity on wooden planks. This, coupled with the chestnut leaf, impart a certain earthy, woody quality to the cheese. The most mature one. Yes, like me. This is where things start to get really interesting. Goat's milk cheeses, just like cow's milk and sheep's milk cheeses, can be matured for much longer durations than a couple of weeks. Some spectacular examples include Tom de Chèvre, minimum of seven weeks, Garrocha, up to six months, and La Muse Brabandeur, 24 months. An explosion of flavor. The aforementioned cheeses are a celebration of the affineur's work. Besides, their flavor is heavily influenced by the terroir, which is the geographical location and the period of maturation. Expect fruity notes with the slightest touch of goaty tang with the Tom de Chèvre, which is from France, herbs and nuts with the garrocha from Spain, and salted caramel and butterscotch with the brabondeur, Netherlands. So what does goat cheese taste like? There are many factors that contribute to the flavor palette of any cheese, and goat cheese is no exception to this rule. 
Whilst the fatty acid composition of goat milk tends to impart a certain flavour to most goat cheeses, it would be an injustice to the craft of the farmers and cheesemakers to simply say they all taste goaty. Be prepared for quite the sensory journey from fresh and zesty to sweet and buttery via nutty and floral. If you've never tried goat cheese before, I hope that I have convinced you to give it a try. Want to learn more about goat's milk cheeses? Check out the link in the top right hand corner to find out which goat cheeses are safe in pregnancy. Or are you already a fan? What's your favourite goat's milk cheese? Drop me a comment down below. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you click that like button, subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell for notifications. Until next time, praise be cheeses.